It's been a very difficult year for Maryland's crabbers, and some watermen tell us that they're actually considering getting out of the season early because of the low catch rates. This cooler is supposed to be full, but Maryland's crabbing industry is still struggling through what many are calling the worst season in 20 years. Josh Parker, owner of T.L. Morris Seafood, says he believes those watermen. I haven't been around that long, obviously, but it's definitely been the worst that I've seen, and a lot of people that I've talked to, it's been the worst they can remember, uh, you know, as far back as 60 or 70 years. Scott Todd is one of those watermen, and he says it was this bad about 40 years ago. Whatever the year was, Hurricane Agnes came up the bay. I think it was 74, was it was 72 or 74. Um, the very next year was just like this. There were just no crabs whatsoever. Josh agrees that Hurricane Sandy in the fall more than likely had an effect on the crab count. Due to the fact that it's been up and down the East Coast, I kind of believe that it was probably the hurricane that we had back in October. You know, it kind of wiped out everything and it's just never been able to catch back up since then. Our, our survey from a year ago, the Winter Dread Survey, said we had plenty of little crabs, so that should be what we're seeing right now and they're not there. So I, I just think that whatever washed off the bank and the shore and into the water had an effect on those crabs and that's why they're not here. And while there may be several weeks still left in the season, many watermen are considering leaving the crabbing season early for oysters. The, the problem now is going to be that if crabs don't pick up, everyone's going to start oystering when it comes in on the 1st of October. Um, so there's at this point, there's no hope for the rest of the crab season, in my opinion. And Scott says even though crab numbers have been low this year, he says that crabs are cyclical, which means that next year they could have a complete population rebound. Reporting in Dorchester County, Tyler Butler, WBOC News, Cambridge.